Hey guys, back here, the old uh, TBR7. Still doing pretty decent. I cracked the frame. Um, cracked the lower right here. I ended up just rewilding it. Uh, I think it was the trail riding I did with it. I took it to Holton Lake and did about a two hour trail ride. And then I didn't notice that it was actually cracked for about two days. I was riding home and noticed it was real loose in the rear. And don't know if it just started off as a crack and she finished off with me riding it. But that's fixed. Seems to be doing all right. I mean, I can't complain. I took this bike through more than what I thought it would actually go through. Um... Other than that, she's been doing really good. I'm getting close to about 7,000 miles on her. Getting real, real close. I'm, I'm talking maybe 20 miles away from it. So I'm not going to say I'm right at 7,000, but pretty close. Did a valve adjustment the other day, about a week ago. Ended up adding a K&N filter. I'm going to get rid of the stock air box. It's just kind of in the way of a few things that I want to do with it. I want to change the shock out. Um, not sure what else I'm going to do with it yet. I was looking at a couple other bikes. Maybe I might pick one up this summer. Uh, more of a supermoto style. It has a little, looks like a little stronger frame kind of meant for more of what I really do with it, but other than that, she's been doing really good. A little dirty right now, but took it out earlier. I had to replace the rear wheel bearings. If anyone needs to know the size of them, you can actually order them right on Amazon. I believe there's 6302 RS bearings. They're not offered on the parts kit website or TX Power Sports or anything like that. And not sure uh, where I'm going to order the next bike from. It might be from TX Power Sports or me, possibly Family Go Karts. I'm not sure yet. But I see a Supermoto coming real soon and I'm telling you guys if you guys need more light at night because the stock headlight kind of sucks at night you can pick these up on Amazon for about 20 bucks for two of them and I just got it routed to my main switch here but that helps a lot especially at night um, same thing with the green neon kit that I have underneath this. You may have seen in some videos. I don't know if I have a video of that on there yet. If I don't, I'll have to put one up tonight or something. Figured it was beautiful out and do another little review on it. I do have a new clutch and basket and everything for it. This one's fine, but I have another head and jug that I'm going to put on it here eventually. Because I'm going to have to do the frame. And I figured do a whole freshen up with it. Maybe do a complete build on it. I'm not sure yet. I, I haven't decided which route I'm going to go with it. I'm definitely going to have to order a frame for it. I know everyone will say, oh, those are for... ZX6R, and yeah, that's that's what they're for. But I guess I'll tell you what, instead of banging your knee when you're doing wheelies or anything, compared to the steel tank, you got these nice pads. You can lock your knees right to them; they don't slide off. You don't slide forward or backward. They're real nice, thick. I think I paid 15 bucks on Amazon for those. Phone holder. I got to get a new one. That one broke. But it's lasted a while. It doesn't help riding all the rain and snow I did. Dumped it in that puddle the one night. 
all in all, it's been a great bike. Um, I appreciate all your guys' support. I can't be more thankful for all the subscribers that I have now and the ones that are um, hoping to follow. Well, I don't know if you guys seen them. It's finishing up some regulation cornhole boards. Something to pass the time when there's nothing else to do other than ride and kind of hang out. Well, guys, I hope you can find this somewhat entertaining or helpful. Um, then again, sorry, I did forget one thing. I did replace the rear sprocket, gold chain, 17 tooth up front, stock in the rear. Chain, I love it. I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. She's a little loose. Other than that, I hope everyone has a great, great day.